coffee questions what's today's topic let's talk about screwdriver holders now we'll talk about the ones that harbor freight at first then i'll show you the ones that i bought now out at the club a lot of people have bought in the screwdriver holders from harbor freight and they're okay there's nothing wrong with them but they are kind of cheaply made but for the price i mean they wanted them they went ahead and got them so let me change the picture we'll get to the questions and then i'll show you what i got instead of the ones out here at harbor freight give me just a sec to change the picture Okay, these are the ones from out at Harbor Freight. Now, they are like an inexpensive plastic. They're cheaply made. $9, you'd probably get them for $7 something. You know, with that 20% you know, coupon. Now, it says it's a new product. Now, they have a, an okay thickness to them, okay? But they would break easy. I mean, one of the people out of the club said, but, you know, most people use them. They got by with them, you know, rather well. And so they said, well, the issue is on mounting. Well, one guy just drilled holes and then just zapped it into the wall with some drywall screws in his garage. Now, somebody else said, well, you can also mount them by getting some small, you know, rare earth magnets. You can get them off eBay, you know, Harbor Freight might even have some. Put a drop of epoxy on the back. Of course, they sell the epoxy too. I think it's a dollar. You know, you can pick up some of the cheaper epoxy. It's not high grade epoxy. Okay, but it'll work for, you know, putting a magnet on the back of these said well it looks okay they kind of stick out a little bit and then you can put them on your toolbox or anything made out of steel those things are true so those are two ways i mean that you can mount these now other people the third option besides screwing gluing magnets is to lay them in the drawer of their toolbox i'm going to change the picture we'll continue the discussion i'll show you where you know they use two rails and then they put the screwdrivers and laid them in there okay so right here is what i was talking about where on the inside drawer they would line these up lay their screwdrivers on them like this and uh you know they keep them organized i thought well that's a good idea but what i wanted is i wanted something a little more durable and i wanted something where i didn't have to use you know two rails i mean to organize my screwdrivers but it, it does work okay i'm not saying that it doesn't let me show you a couple of other pictures real quick and then i'll show you what i bought okay so here's a picture of how somebody put their into their toolbox and so this function in a functional way this works okay in a functional way drilling holes and screwing it on or bolting it onto something would work and also you know with gluing magnets so i understood i mean there's different ways when we were out at the club talking about it that these things could be used but none of them was really what i wanted so what i wanted was something probably a little bit better and i knew that it was going to cost me more now in the past I'm going to change the picture. I've bought in tools from a company called Ulsa. Ulsa tools, I mean, they design them here in the U.S. and I think that they're made overseas, but they're a good product. Let me show you. Okay, let's take a look at this one first. Now, this is not the one that I bought. I'm putting it up here for completion's sake. I mean, now, Ulsa tools makes ones that you have to mount on the wall. They also make them magnetized. So the one here for $16.99, I mean, is really more of a wall mount one but the construction of it is really good and you can see it's a screwdriver holder um i won't spend a lot of time on this because it's not the one that i actually own and bought but i'm just letting you know that there's a variety of them out there made from ulsa tools and they're manufactured really well they're manufactured to be very durable so you might want to take a look at this one i'll leave it in the link below and you can take a look and do a search once you get to amazon on you know on this particular topic now they make holders for sockets, which I do own, and they're really good, the rails with the little ball bearing on them. And they're probably the best ones I've ever had, but you're gonna pay a little bit more for them. So I have the socket rails, they work great. And I have these, the ones I'm gonna show you now. Okay, so this is the one that I decided to buy, a little bit more pricey, I understand, at $24. Okay, the dimensions are above me. And I mentioned that because a couple of people returned the product saying, hey, this thing was too long. I didn't realize it was that long. Other people returned it because they said, well, it wasn't wide enough. Um, I don't know what you want for width, but I mean, to me, these are more than fine. Now, I bought this one. It's a magnetized one. And what I do on the inside top lid of my toolbox when I lift it up, all that area in there is unusable space. 
So you can hang these in a vertical or a horizontal position or diagonal or whatever you want. As long as you're attaching it to steel, the magnets tend to work fine. So for me, it's a space saving item and it's uh, really the one that I wanted and I didn't have to buy like two rails or I didn't have to do anything, you know, out of the ordinary for these. Now you can, I don't know why I didn't, but you can remove the end cap on these and you can remove some of these hangers if you wanted to, to space things out more, I suppose, but I didn't have that issue. It's aluminum. Now somebody said, can you, you know, email me, can you cut this? Can you cut it, shorten it and put the end cap back on? Um, yeah, if you have a specific need, I'm sure that you can do that if you're careful because this is made out of aluminum. The actual hangers are made out of a very thick kind of a nylon material, which was another complaint where somebody said, hey, they're a little too thick. I mean, you got to really kind of snap them in there and then you got to, you know, give them a little tug. I mean, to, you know, have them disengage and get them out of there. Well, that's OK with me. I mean, they hold things really well. I mean, if you're going to use them that way. Now, like I said, they make these for pliers and they make them for other tools. So you don't have, we're talking about screwdrivers though. So I wanted to show you these. And so this is the one that I got for the screwdrivers and it holds them real well. Now, up to what size? Now, that was another question I was asked. Now, I assume that you're asking me shaft size of screwdrivers. You can go all the way up to a quarter inch easily. Um, there shouldn't be a problem. Now. Um, what else can you do? I mean, if you don't want the 16, you know, hold, the one, the 16 holder, well, they make a 14. Let me show you real quick. Okay. Now here's another one. It's going to be cheaper, of course, but you know, and you can take a look at the pricing. It holds 14. Now I wanted the one that holds 16, not just for screwdrivers. I've got like ice pick and other kind of tools that I mean, I can just drop in through there. Like you see in the picture above, again, it creates, uh, you know, it, it creates good organization and it saves me a lot of space because I use it on the inside lid of the toolbox that if you go back and you take a look at my playlist, you'll see where we did a video about how to buy toolboxes, what you should look out for in you know, both new used, whatever you're going to do. But in a nutshell, uh, my toolbox, I try to utilize all of the space and organize things the best I can so that I can keep lots of things in there, but in a very organized way. Well, one of those ways is like I said, when you lift up the lid of it, you have on the inside lid, you have all this space that's available to you. If you can figure out how to use it, this is one way to figure out how to use it. Now you can also, like I said, buy the ones that hold pliers and everything else because um, when I was out at the club and I was sat at the computer and I was reading through, you know, some of the critiques on these, um, one of the things was, is, Hey, I returned them. It wouldn't hold the weight of what I wanted it to. I put lineman's pliers and I put other pliers on there by, you know, wedging the hand, you know, one of the handles into them and they were talking, okay, you have to realize this one was made and meant for screwdrivers, which are much lighter weight. If you're going to start adding things that are really weighted, onto this well yeah it's going to slide on you and it's going to fail if you are using it for screwdrivers and the intended use that the manufacturer made it for you're not going to have a problem i mean this is they're you know they are really well made and anybody that owns them out of the club has turned around went back to also to either buy another one or buy something different from them my experience is has been with the socket holders i got uh i think three or four of them for SAE metric, you know, and they work great. And I set them into the drawer of my toolbox, keeps things organized, a little ball bearing on top of, uh, you know, the tool on the socket organizers. I mean, it keeps them really intact. They're not falling off, you know, yada, yada, yada. I mean, they work great is what I saying. But we're talking about screwdriver holders here. So let me go back. We'll do more of the questions and answers. Okay, so I threw this picture up. I mean, again, I mean, it's for completion's sake, really, to give you an idea of something. Here's another picture of a rail that I took off of, you know, their website or off of Amazon's. And it says right here, you know, besides screwdrivers, you can also organize other tools, ratchets, pliers, spanners, other small tools. So when you put big, heavy lineman pliers in here and stuff like that, yeah, the magnets may not be strong enough, but I mean, if you're going to use it to hold other tools other than screwdrivers, I mean, just be conscious of the weight. I mean, any, magnetized rail with rare earth magnets or whatever you're using, you're only going to be able to put so much weight on these rails. I mean, so, I mean, that's what I would tell you. It's holding up perfectly fine for me. Like I said, I'm more than happy with Olsa's products. 
I would definitely buy them again, and I have. I bought all of my socket rails from them, and now I have, you know, like I showed you, the blue anodized, you know, one for the screwdriver. So it's just, they don't have a huge color selection right now, but look, I think you got red, blue, and some of the other rails you might have, you know, other colors, but I like that anodized look. Matches up with my toolbox good. And if I'm gonna actively use like several of these tools, I can attach them to the outside side of my toolbox. Again, it saves space, it keeps things organized. So, I mean, I like things like that because it makes, you know, whatever I'm working on in the process out in the garage just much more efficient for me as well as a time saving, you know, having to root around and look for something that's misplaced. I can just reach over, I can drop it back in one of these hangers on the rail, so. Okay, so switching over to questions and answers again, somebody said, look, I looked out on Amazon, you can get rails that are much cheaper, without a doubt. Yeah, you can. And the one over here to my left, the 999 is one of those rails, and somebody out the club bought them, and he threw them out. I mean, after four months of use, he got these or something similar to these, and those plastic clips are flimsy. And because he is like a service worker and uses them on a utility truck, you know that has the winged toolbox or whatever and he was using these on the inside of that between the heat the sunlight whatever these holders the nylon or plastic whatever it is that they're made out of on this nine dollar 99 cent one failed and started to break and got brittle real quick and easy i told him about the ones that i was buying which there's here to my right are a couple of more examples you just need to take a look after you click on the links below in the description that i'm telling you you can search around and see if there's something else that floats your boat that also is making but i can tell you you know they make good quality products yes i understand you're gonna pay a little bit more but supports american jobs too at the same time their customer service is outstanding i sent them an email a while back dealing with the socket rails and i had asked a, a question i mean you know relating to the ball bearing on it and they answered me promptly there's also an 800 service number i mean you can call and they'll talk to you they are a smaller uh, company so there's plenty of people around to talk to you technical and sales you know whatever you want so i found the customer service to be really good the product's really good so i kind of stick with what i know now i'm sure there are people out there that are mechanics and technicians that buy off of the tool trucks and you probably are buying matco snap-on or something like that and they're probably equally as good maybe a little bit better i don't know but you're also paying a hefty price for them these you can get right off amazon they ship prime and like i said all the way around i mean i think they're a good manufacturer Okay, so one of the other questions was, hey, if I use these, whether it's on the inside lid of the toolbox or the outside, like you mentioned, and I wrote a little thing in one of the forums about it, and the guy kicked back and said, look, I don't like doing that with any of these. It'll scratch the outside surface of you know my toolbox. No, it really doesn't. I mean, if you read up here where it says powerful magnet, there's a backing on there that prevents that from happening, you know, that is you know, over those rare earth magnets that are in there. So I don't worry about that and I don't have that problem, um, or at least not yet, I haven't. But again, like I said, these are a higher quality product and I spent a lot of money, you know, on the toolbox itself. So I don't want to go with cheap organizers and things that, you know, that don't work or are going to be flimsy and only last a little while. These will last you, I mean, probably as long as you have that toolbox or as long as you want. They're well made. They have that anodized look to them, which I really liked, you know, for my toolbox, and they're very durable. So, I mean, for me, I'll keep buying them. I mean, they're a great product. The dimensions are here. They have different variations. So, I would encourage you after you click on the link below, I mean, take a look, see if there's something else that they offer that you want. If you want a little bit cheaper price, there are some cheaper organizers and rails there. They're still made of high quality you know nylon it's real thick you're not going to have a problem with the clips busting and coming apart on you easy like you do on the inexpensive ones i'm the home handyman i hope you click subscribe keep following me if you know something better out there or you have a better deal on something drop it in the link for everybody below uh, you know in the comment section i don't mean the link i'm at the comment section anyway i hope you follow me i hope you click subscribe and i'll see you on the next video thank you folks have a great day Bye bye